Another news alert for you now. Dan Bongino humiliating Hillary Clinton after she reveals her latest 2016 election excuse. I love my freedom reports that Fox News contributor Dan Bongino humiliated Hillary Clinton after she claimed that the 2016 presidential election was stolen from her. We reported on that yesterday. Now, it happened during an interview on Fox and Friends. Bongino and the three Fox hosts began discussing Clinton's comments from over the weekend, where she claimed Russia stole the election from her and that she ran the best campaign. Yeah, we all know the truth there. She skipped over states, thinking that they were foregone conclusion that they would vote for her. Yeah, but she could, and and then she couldn't walk upstairs. She couldn't even she couldn't even stand at a memorial service without passing out and being thrown into her van like a side of beef, uh, coughing up wherever she went. No, well, it was the um, the former Secret Service agent Dan Bongino went scorched earth on Clinton for her egregious comments and inability to accept that she lost the election fair and square. Take a look. Let's uh, talk about what happened over the weekend. Hillary Clinton was speaking at a Los Angeles event on Saturday, and she still is not over the fact that she lost. Listen to what she said. <laughs> yeah. I think it's also critical to understand that, as I've been telling candidates who have come to see me, you can run the best campaign, you can even become the nominee, and you can have the election stolen from you. Comes from the lady who wants to get rid of the Electoral oh. College. Your thoughts? A a Ainsley, I mean, is there a politician with more temerity anywhere than Hillary Clinton? This is the equivalent of robbing a bank and complaining because the teller gave you 50s instead of 100s. Hillary Clinton's team, literally, not figuratively, literally is the most overused word in the English language, not in this case, literally paid foreign spies to gather information from Russians right. to use to attack Donald Trump in the FISA court during the campaign, and she's now complaining that the election was stolen from her i mean the gall the nerve on mrs clinton and i just wish more networks would do what we're doing and stick to the facts in this case and start asking the questions about the real collusion why did hillary's team collude with russian intelligence right. to feed information to our law enforcement it's a simple question not to why mention her email scandals yeah let's hope we get to that the, you know uh, yes oh so many points that he's correct on and so many questions Questions that require answers. While in Los Angeles on Saturday night at an evening with the Clintons event, now if you're unaware, this is a national tour that she's been going on with her husband, Bill, and <laughs> they're selling the tickets on Groupon for like two bucks. Okay, maybe you even got the email. I get Groupon emails every once in a while. And um, one of them was actually the Clintons event, two dollars. Mm, pretty funny. Anyway, the um, at the event, uh, her and her, her um, husband, the former president, Bill Clinton, pushed the same Russia conspiracy theories. Clinton argued that she would have won the 2016 election had Russia not stolen it from her. Yeah, how did they steal it? With $70,000 worth of Facebook ads? Watch. Keep your eye on the whole landscape as it is moving forward. And I think it's also critical to understand that, as I've been telling candidates who have come to see me, you can run the best campaign, you can even become the nominee, and you can have the election stolen from you. And that, that my friends, has nothing to do with the economy, does it? No. no. And so part of our challenge is to understand what it will take to put together not just the popular vote, but the Electoral College. Uh... Okay, Hillary. I thought you guys want to get rid of the Electoral College. Isn't that, wasn't that the big goal? Oh, anyway, she's clearly delusional still. Clinton is beyond obsessed with becoming president and continues to say whatever she can for attention. And two years after her utterly embarrassing loss, she's still claiming that Russia stole the election from her and that she ran the best campaign, despite reality. Comment below. We'll see you at the next report. For the next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. I hope you enjoyed that report. Now it's time to have a serious conversation. What would you do if disaster strikes? Is your family ready? Earthquakes? 
hurricanes, grid failure, the Middle East war spiraling out of control. These are all real threats. So do not delay, okay? I don't want your family to perish in a disaster. Go to preparewithgary.com right now to prep your family if disaster strikes. Do not be caught off guard. You will regret not getting the survival food that I trust for my family at preparewithgary.com. Head on over there right now. The link is right below. For the next news network, I'm Gary Franchi. Thank you for watching that report. If you want more, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Next News Network logo right here. You can also watch our latest news reports by clicking here, or you can get the latest breaking news by clicking here, or the most viral news on the channel, the news that Hillary and Obama hate, right here.